I wonder why it is we are not kinder than we are. How much the world needs it. One of my favorite lines from uh, The Greatest Thing in the World from Henry Drubbin. Uh, this is a pretty neat book, guys. This was written in 1870, so it's littered with thou's, these, thou's. So kind of an interesting read as far as challenging the English language. The reason I picked it up, it's real thin, right? I wanted to get that extra book on my list last year and um, really just stumbled into a really powerful book about what is most important about the way we live and what's going to have the biggest impact. So one of the things to, to start the conversation on this book is the way Henry Drummond talks about where we are and where we're going. He talks about heaven and hell, not necessarily from a, a religious standpoint, but how it feels and how it affects the community. So his idea was that we all are living heaven or hell right now. We put out vibes. This is paraphrasing a little bit, right? This book was written in 1870. Um, but paraphrasing the idea of vibes. We do good things. That that interaction um, helps the person we're talking to feel better. It lifts their day. It makes them stronger. They go and they have another conversation, another interaction. And it's a positive one because of the person they talked to had spent time with you. Now, this spreads in two ways. This spreads out um, as far as geographical, more and more conversations, but also throughout time. So the whole idea is everything that you do has a large impact on those close to you in your community. So being very uh, mindful of the way that we're holding conversations and the type of energy we're bringing to them. So this is what we're talking heaven and hell while we're here on earth. If you're having positive conversations, helping other people, speaking with love, probably going to be more of that in your life. When we die... He looks at heaven and hell as legacy. So think about um, your son, your mom, Sally the receptionist at your office, um, the guy who delivers your mail, right? When they think of you, when, when your name comes up after you die, what do they think? Is it nothing? Is it something positive? Is it something that, that makes them smile and, and, and is a source of strength? Or is it something that gives them anxiety, something that gives them frustration or sadness? This is your heaven or hell, right? The way that you interact with people, the, the mark you leave, your legacy is the way people will remember you. And Henry Drummond challenges that this is what that heaven or hell is. So um, as he goes through it, he says, look, uh, all information dies, right? Um, most of the philosophy we have is written in Greek and Latin. We've lost those languages long, long ago. He talks about how he's concerned Irish might be uh, fading as a language, Um but here's the thing. The thing that transcends those languages, that transcends information, he talks about, you know, a schoolboy is more intelligent and has more knowledge than Sir Isaac Newton did hundreds of years ago. So what lasts? It's our philosophies, how we treat each other and how we act. So he has a couple suggestions here when he's talking about philosophy. He said that there is no happiness that comes from having or getting. All happiness is received through giving which means over half the world is on the wrong scent in the pursuit of happiness. So, you know, the greatest thing in the world, what is it? What's, what's the secret? It's love. Love is what he comes back to, is that, that feeling between two people in a room, um, a community, and the positive vibes that gives off. He says that where there is love, there is God. And we always want to be in that spot where um, God, however you subscribe, or uh, interact with that idea is welcome and present in the room. So a couple ideas based off that. He does have a couple suggestions. He says, um, hey, love, lavish it upon the poor where it is very easy, especially among the rich who need it the most. Most of all, among our equals where it is very difficult and for whom perhaps we each do the least of all. I love you guys for being on your pursuit. I love you for being students of the game and trying to figure out with all this content out there, where can I be spending my time to get the most out of it? Uh, this book is The Greatest Thing in the World by Henry Drummond. Quick read, really strong ph uh, philosophy. Whatever you're working through, if you guys have some challenges, some successes, some frustrations, post it. We're all in this to together. We're all in this journey of making our communities, our cities, our states, our countries, our world stronger. Let's get the conversation going. Uh, keep things open and have an awesome day. Go get it.